Alrighty, I bought a lot of stuff over the past few months and even the last year and I finally have taken the time to compile my 10 favorite pickups of the last year. Some way better than others, but we're not going to focus on the negative. We're going to focus on the positive here and maybe there's going to be something on this list that you guys might consider picking up for yourself. Number one is my new favorite cologne and oh boy, it is an expensive one and that is a Tom Ford Oldwood cologne coming in at a whopping $85 for just 10 milliliters oh boy this cologne you better use it sparingly and for special occasions only and the reason i picked up this cologne number one i want i really wanted to try tom ford colognes in general and this one was my favorite i wasn't a big fan of the tuscan leather the ombre leather or even the effing fabulous but odewood it was a no-brainer i picked up a 10 milliliter sprayer and geez i it it's the, the scent profile it's dark earthy it's woody it's it's very rich if dark academia was a smell it would be this and i just love it i wear it just on date night or just a few special occasions it's very good for if you're dressing up and this is definitely something that i would consider picking up if you can because it is very expensive if you want a larger bottle you're looking into the hundreds of dollars number two is something that i do use on a daily basis and that is my new coach leather card holder wallet that's coming in right around 150 canadian dollars i don't know what that is in us probably around 110 dollars if i do my conversions in my head correctly which i never do finding a great wallet for me the past few years have been really challenging i've gone from large leather bifolds another one from coach it was great but i you can't put it in your pocket or going with something that it's a little bit more like a metal card holder i never really was a fan of didn't like the style but this gave me the best of both worlds i'm a big fan of the quality of the leather here you hit it with a little bit of mink oil and you'll prevent any breakage or fraying the stitching is great you don't have these hard corners where it can lead to peeling and breaking i'm a big fan of the monogram pattern on the front this black and dark navy blue really is super sleek and minimal the wallet itself since it's a card holder it's not super thick or tall so it fits in your pocket no problem and it can hold up to 10 cards which is more than plenty and you can you know fold some bills and keep it in there as well and this is definitely a great pickup for the value number three is my winter jacket my north face himalayan parka in taupe which i picked up at sporting life for 455 dollars much like my wallet i've been shopping around for a new winter jacket and i was torn between the canada goose crofton puffer and this jacket but i went with the north face one because of its down content the price was way better than paying three times more for relatively the same quality and i love the jacket the color is my absolute favorite and there's been a weird thing going on where if you don't wear black dark gray or navy blue as a winter jacket it's somehow a complete mortal sin which i disagree with colors aren't seasonal they're just colors i love this jacket it's super warm it uses authentic waterfowl feathers as its filling so it keeps the jacket relatively warm yet also lightweight if you have tons of pocket room adjustable side suspenders and adjustable at the hood as well and it's just my absolute favorite which i wear on extra cold days keeping with the north facing that brings me to number four is my north face nupsy vest that i picked up used on grail for only a hundred dollars this vest usually retails for around 275 i believe us so this was an absolute deal yeah it had a hole in the back but nothing that a little duct tape can't fix and this is something that i wear late fall early spring and it is just an excellent vest that keeps you warm much like the jacket got it in black you can fold it in on itself and you can pack it up just like any other north face jacket as well and this is just something that i love wearing especially in the fall and early spring to late winter months Number five is a bit of a flex, but I definitely treated myself at the end of the year. So brace yourselves for a little bit of flexing. And it is a 1.8 carat ring on a 10K cobalt band. It is an eternity band style, but only half of it is the it actual like eternity band style, just so you can get the ring size properly so it could fit my middle finger. Because if you go with the full eternity band, you're not you're not getting a size if it doesn't fit you because they would have to remake the entire ring. So it's on a 10K yellow gold band the two rows around the top are si and the middle is a vs1 coming in at 1.8 carats and i paid around 1600 canadian dollars for it it's definitely a hard-hitting statement piece but it's not too big and obnoxious so you can definitely if you just want to wear one accessory 
this is definitely going to be the one. Number six is my Yi Saint Laurent Jod for Chelsea boot. I picked up on Grail for $530. Retail, these will go around 13 to 1400 Canadian. If anybody says Chelsea boots are dead, you have not done adequate research. There are tons of great styles that you can find. You just got to do a little bit of research. These are great for dressing up. They're not super out there with their style or their branding it's calf skin leather the insole surprisingly is quite comfortable for a chelsea boot and this is definitely an investment piece for your wardrobe this is definitely a capsular element something that's timeless classic so definitely if you want to pick up a great boot this is a great option for something that's classier and higher quality on the topic of quality it brings me to my seventh pickup this one was uh, during the ascends black friday sale and they are these toga virilis leather calfskin loafers i probably butchered the name but oh well this is what they look like unfortunately i haven't got a chance to wear these out yet because it is freezing cold now but i definitely like these i'm not a big fan of a lot of loafers or dress shoes in general but turning to a little bit more designer brands and seeing the new ideas out there this is definitely one of my favorites it gives me a mix of desperado and red dead redemption 2 vibes but i like them because you can really have a dressy piece super casual and i do like these are again calfskin i haven't broken them in yet but i like the style throw on an oversized sweater some nice trousers and these loafers and you have a nice outfit in my opinion number eight is the levi's 514 athletic fit these are the best jeans in my opinion for guys who have a large ass and large thighs this is great because unlike a lot of the the jeans made in the past few years with the trend being super distressed spandex infused skinny slim fit this is a great alternative because you can really get the best of both worlds they're not super baggy at the ankle so you can wear it with both boots sneakers very comfortably as well as you have adequate room in the glutes and in the thighs so when you sit down it's not super tight and constrictive the movement is amazing in them, and you can pick these up for around $100. I picked it up at uh, Mark's Workwear. Number nine is tech-related. It's not my new camera. It's not the lens. It's not the new light, but it's this microphone. The Rode VideoMic NTG is one of the most overkill <laughs> kill camera microphones that you can buy as a super cardioid pattern, a negative 20 decibel filter, which is the one I'm recording on now. You can't hear what's going on outside because of that pass. You have an automatic adjustment gain knob on the microphone you have a negative 70 and negative 20 decibel filter as well as dual channel recording that you can enable so if you have audio spikes you can just choose whichever channel it works and you can directly USB-C it to your computer where it's you can use it as a USB microphone as well as you have a 30 hour battery life on it for $400 that's pretty good is it overkill perhaps but I don't cheap out on equipment or comfortable chairs for some reason. Number 10, we're ending it on a wholesome note and then these custom Air Force ones I made with my girlfriend. We both wanted to have a matching pair of sneakers, but it would be kind of lame if we just went and bought a matching pair together. So we decided to make it a date and you know, pick up some Angelus paint, some high gloss finish. Bada boom, bada bing, you got these Air Forces. I really wanted something in gray. It's one of my favorite colors for some reason now. And I was originally gonna pick up the Berlin One Lowe's, but I can't find them anywhere, literally anywhere. Or I wanted to create something custom that is in the same shade of gray as the Dior ones. So these came about. I really like them. Again, I wear them when I really feel like it. I don't wear them out so much now because it's winter. I just wear the classic white Air Forces or Doc Martens, usually at the winter time. But this is definitely something fun. And I love them so much because it was a whole date. And, you know, it was very wholesome. Here you guys have it. Those are my 10 favorite pickups of the year uh way too much money spent i definitely agree but let me know which one was your favorite in the comments down below and which one you would consider picking up as well thank you guys so much for watching be sure to check out some other videos on screen right now and i hope to see you all in the next video peace